Hi, wonderful friends. This is not easy. This is difficult, but we can do it together. We are asked, this is not drawn to scale. Then this, this, and this are identical squares of area four, all right? We are asked to find the area of this particular triangle. Okay, like I said, we are going to do this together. It's difficult, but we are going to do it together. Now, this is the second method. I've solved this using a different method, and I promised you guys I'm going to solve it again using a different method, okay? Now, first, let's um, name this. Let's call this A, B, C, D, and E, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is to complete this particular rectangle, okay? So I'm going to do that. Okay, now having done that, this is 90 degrees, right? And this is 90 degrees. Okay, if we call this place alpha, right? So it means that angle P is 90 minus alpha. That is angle B. Now, another thing is this particular square, the area is 4. Now remember that the area of a rectangle of a, of a square is equal to length squared. So our area is 4, is equal to length squared. Now let's take square root of both sides. So we have square root of 4 is equal to square root of length squared. So the square will remove the root sign. And we have the square root of 4, which is 2, is equal to our length. So it means that this is 2, this is 2, this is 2, and this is 2 as well. Okay? I personally, I prefer this second method to the first method. This second method is straight to the point and easier to imply, to apply. Okay? Alright. Now, if we look at Triangle A, B, let's call this G, okay? Let's call this post, this portion G. Now, if you look at it, let us try to get this particular angle here, okay? This angle here. Remember that angle B is what? 180 degrees, angle on a straight line. So it means that 90 minus alpha plus 90 degrees, Plus, let's call the angle we are looking for x. This is equal to 180. Okay? So, we have 90 plus 90 is 180. So, if we want x to remain here, it will be equal to 180. Let's transfer every other thing that is on this left-hand side to this side. Okay? So, plus 90, we cross here to become minus 90. Minus alpha, we cross to become plus alpha. And plus 90 we cross become minus 90. So we have x is equal to, now 180 minus 90 is 90. And 90 minus 90 is 0. So we are left with just alpha. So it means that this portion is what? Alpha. Okay? Now if this is alpha, then this remaining part should be 90 minus alpha. Now I want you to look at triangle AGB and triangle BCD. You can see that they share the same tri the same angle. They are what? Similar angles. They are. All right. Now, because they are congruent, we can say that the, the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. Right? Okay. Now, let's take a look at this. Um, let us draw it. If we call this X, and call this y we are going to have this okay this is a this is g and this is b and this is right angle so this is x and this is y now if we draw the bigger one this is it so this is it this is b this is c and this is d and this is right angled as well. So I would like to draw this in form of this. That is, I will turn this. So if I turn it, I will have this. 
this is a and this is g so this is y so this is still our x and this is still our y now the two triangles are similar all right because they are the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal now bc is two okay and cd is two plus two plus two which is six so because they are similar the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal so i can write that x divided by y is equal to 2 divided by 6. So we can say that x divided by y is 1 over 3. Okay? So if you cross multiply, you will see that 3x is equal to y. Okay? 3x is equal to y. So we are going to replace this y with 3x. It is for a reason. Now, let me complete this well. It's actually giving me a tough time. Mm -hmm. Let me just complete the diagram well. All right. So, GB now is 3X. Okay? So, it means that if we call this place F, okay? FD is equal to GC because this is what? A rectangle. So, it means that FD is 3X plus 2. Okay? So, this length is 3X plus 2. Alright. Now, we have GA to be X. Okay? Let me clean this and then try to write what I'm saying so that you will not get confused. Hope you have subscribed. If this is the first time you have seen this channel, please click the subscription button and don't turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new video. Okay? Give us a thumbs up. It really means a lot to us. Don't just watch and go without leaving a like and a comment. That is if you actually enjoy that video. If you don't, still tell us what you think and what we should do in the com on the comment section okay thank you very much by god's grace at your uh, leisure time always tune in there must be something new for you to watch thank you very much so since ga gf is equal to cd right gf is equal to cd which is equal to six then ga which is x af is what it simply means that AF should be equal to GF minus GA, right? GF minus GA. So AF is, our uh, GF is from here to here, right? Which is equal to 6, okay? Minus, our uh, GA is X. So it simply means that AF is 6 minus 6. How many minutes do you have? Now, where am I driving at? Remember that we are asked to find the area of A, B, D. Okay? This triangle inside. Now, if we can get the area of triangle, this particular place, let's call it A2. Or before that, before that, let us clear this X first. Now, remember that this is 90 degrees, right? Being that this is a rectangle. Now, this particular line divides this square, the triangle into, the angle into two parts. So here is 45 degrees. So if here is 45 degrees, then angle A is 45 degrees as well. So it simply means that angle AFD is a right-angled isosceles triangle. That means that this and this are equal. Okay, so it simply means that 6 minus x is equal to 3x plus 2. So we can say 6 minus x is equal to 3x plus 2. Okay, so if we solve, we have 6 minus x. Then this will cross to become minus 3x. This will cross to become minus 2. is equal to 0. So we have 6 minus x minus 3x is minus 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have 6 minus 2 is 4. 
excuse me, minus 4x is equal to 0. So if we transfer this to this side, we have that 4 is equal to what? 4x. So if we divide both sides by 4, we have that 1 is equal to x. Now, if 1 is equal to x, then let us substitute 1 into anything that concerns x and then have a different drawing of our diagram. So in order to let, make this look less uh, cumbersome or for, to avoid confusion, I'm going to clean some of the things to make it look better. Okay? So just to make the diagram to look better. All right. So these are some of the things we don't need right now. Okay. Now looking at this, from this, we have that x is 1. So this is 3 times x, which is 3. So it simply means that gb is equal to 3. Okay. Then ga is x, which is equal to 1. So replace this with 1. Then af is 6 minus x, which is 6 minus 1, which is 5. Here is 5. Okay. Now here is 3x plus 1. That is 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So the whole of this is 5. Okay, so we have finished that part. Okay. Now, you can see that we have this triangle here. Now, we have, let's call this A1, area of that part A1, this place A2, this place A3. So if we can get the area of this particular rectangle, okay? So area of triangle ABC, ABD, sorry. Area of triangle ABD will be equal to area of this particular rectangle. Area of GCDF minus A1 minus A2 minus a3 okay now gcdf is a rectangle so area of a rectangle is base times height so it means that abd is equal to the base times the height okay so it's going to be 2 plus 2 plus 2 which will give us 6 sorry area of a rectangle is length times breadth okay so the length is 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 6 times the breadth, which is 3 plus 2, which is 5. Minus, now A1, this is a right angle triangle. So it's half base times height. Half times, now the base is 1, right? Times, the height is 3. Okay, now similarly, minus A2. A2 is half base times height. That should be half times 5 times 5. Half times 5 times 5. Then minus, let me be putting this in brackets to avoid confusion. Then minus A3 is half times the base, which is 6 times the height, which is 2. Half times 6 times 2. So area of ABD is equal to 6 times 5 is 30 minus, now 3 divided by 2, which will give us 1.5 minus, um, 5 times 5 is 25, and half of 25 is 12.5. 12 12.5 12 minus, 2 we divide this and we are left with just 6. So ABD is equal to 30 minus, now, this is 1.5 minus 12.5. Let's just add this together and then subtract, okay? So 1.5 plus 12.5 will give us 14. 14 plus 6 will give us um, 20, right? So this is minus 20. Everything from here to here is minus 20. So, <coughs> excuse me. Area of triangle ABD is equal to... <coughs> Sorry, 30 minus 20, which is 10 units squared. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. <coughs>